episode of the Build Your Own 3D Printer from Eagle Moss. And uh, first th thing we're going to do in this video is a quick apology uh, because we didn't film last month's video and a lot of people have asked what's happened. Well, uh, I had, and the wife had, a rather bad lung infection which if you've seen some of my uh, videos of late you will have heard my voice from that. Uh, so that took uh, two or three weeks so by the time uh, as moderately recovered from that it was time for the things to get on uh, but I did build the printer I actually did film it but there's so much coughing and my voice was so rough I decided to scrap it uh, but I did put the printer together so I will discuss those aspects in this video and we'll carry on with uh, hmm. this month's video I may need some extra tea though because voice is still a little bit coffee coffee I've got most of my voice back. Even my singing voice. Look at you. Okay, so issue 60 on the 3D Creative Print. And I've got a new folder this month as well. Yay. Right. Uh, okay. Cover again. In this issue, a V3 printer part, rear top plate, we'll look at that in a moment, 3D panel modelling step by step with a busy cat, 3D printing in dest dest <laughs> dentistry and orthodontics. All right. Dentistry and orthodontics are the perfect match for 3D printing. So much so that industry watchers predict mass uptake of the technology. What makes it such a good fit? And I found out another use for 3D printing today because I've got a uh, cinema projector downstairs and a part went on somebody else's, not mine, and they managed to 3D print a replacement, which is, which is good because the parts for it are extremely rare and Pricey. So there we go. This is orthodontic 3D printing. A an article on that. Uh, hearing aids have been hailed as the world's most successful 3D printed product. Didn't know that. But the market penetration of over 90%. Well, this. What has this to do with teeth? Nothing except a remarkable similarity in the match between the scale of the industry and the impact of the new technology. All right, rounding out a cube. In a blender, a subdivision of surfaces, a tutorial. Uh, I find these tutorials to be very good. I've done several of them, and uh, no major issues. Uh, so I do recommend them. Looks like you're making a hand, actually. Oh, it is. Handiwork. In the previous section, you established a framework of creating a simple model of a hand. You will discover the effects that the subdivision surface mod modifier has on your model as you extrude the extremities. Cool deal. Uh, stage 8, vector 3, rear top plate. Which is, if I'm not mistaken, this baby here in the bag. Still in the bag. No screws in this one. Hmm, where the screws? Uh, I'll put somewhere else. I'm not cocked up again. Um, got me concerned now. Oh, there they are. They're hiding away. Um, right, so uh, yep, putting the plate on. Uh, the fishing reel. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yep, still a bit of a cough. Fishing rod part two, and how to put the, the things parts together. So there you go, 3D fishing reel. A trolley token. Cheats. There you go, 3D printed trolley token. If that's of use. A maniki and neko. The iconic Japanese beckoning cat is believed to bring good luck to its owner. But don't they usually shake the paws? No one doesn't. Oh well. Alright, issue 61. Uh, 3D printer part is the roller holder roller holder bracket. Uh, looks like I make a whistle and using eco-friendly filament. Hmm, interesting. Let's have a look. Using eco-recycled filament. Don't throw away that, plast that empty plastic water bottle, print with it. By using si uh, recycled filament made from post-consumer waste, you can turn water bottles such as the these into beautiful, durable and colourful objects, from wearable fashion to home decor and accessories. Interesting. Uh, first the bad news. Collectively we have a reckless damn the consequences attitude to plastic. Yep, <coughs> all these printers come in and bags and stuff. Uh, Extrude your own. 
this is just a machine that feeds the noodles through a heated chamber. Might have to grind your own. For the ultimate in DIY, turn your home into a mini recycling sander by shredding your own plastic waste and feeding it into your extruder. You'll need a shredder or grinder, which is basically a set of rotary messing jaws. Hmm. May have to read that more. Modeling table part two. Shaping a mug. Now 3D printed mug, that's an interesting idea. I can make all sorts of different designs and stuff. Make a knobbly mug. Stuff like that. Rounding things out. Uh, vector 3 <coughs> roller holder bracket. Which is uh, this one. Uh, this holds the uh, <coughs> filament spool at the back. Excuse me, cough's still a bit of a problem. Uh, Spirograph set part one. Cool. Whistle. Great for hikers, rug and hikers and rugged outdoor types. This survival whistle might just save your life. Uh, okay. See, they swapped the thingy verse now. We're not downloading from their site by the looks of it. We're downloading from Thingiverse. We'll also come up with the deal. No, you could do a whistle 3D printed because you need those extra bits in this. I don't know. iPhone 6 stand. Nah. And they 3D print toolbox. Blender's 3D print toolbox is a useful add-on that will help you ensure your model is printable. Cool. And right, next one. 61. Uh, just reaching for my cup of tea because I'm getting thirsty. Right, 62. About two thirds of the way through. Over two thirds of the way now. Uh, right. Roller holder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Peely mendeling step by step, and 3D printing gives helping helps wildlife. <coughs> Cold. Gives wildlife a helping hand. And this part now, imagine what it was like a couple of weeks ago. Christ. Uh, so, uh, wild animals need our help just as much as pets do. Many have been restored to health with the aid of additive manufacturing. Uh, okay, flipper repair, out on the limb, new roof, so loads of little things they can do for wildlife using them. 3D view technology, so <coughs> excuse me, understanding how to use the cursor and how when to switch between ornographic, or sorry, orthographic and perspective views will have precision and efficiency to your work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go, so, tutorial on that, uh, using views, different views, uh, roller holder, so, oh yes, this is uh, the top of the uh, roller hood itself, so there we go, right, so, that all goes onto that, and that goes onto the base, okay, all right, okay, spirograph set part two, ah, oh, cool. Could be something worth doing. Sine wave spoon holder. Weird. Playing card case. Hmm. Tangram heart puzzle. No thanks. Right. And last but not least, issue number 63. Pardon me. Right. Sorry. Uh, front top plate. 3D modeling step by step and exploring freeform 3D printing. Hmm? Building out of the box, freeform 3D printing may well hold a revolution in drawing. Whether you're sketching a school project or skyscraper, oh yes, it's where the the printers actually move. It isn't printed inside the printer; the printers actually move along. Hey, <laughs> cool, eh? Oh, look at that! That's nice. 3D. That's done with a 3D pen, guys. Some artists, because uh, the things I've seen made of 3D pen pens aren't like that. <laughs> These are quite good. And gravity sketch. Virtual 3D sketch pads such as the gravity sketch left will enable us to draw in full 3D and then send the file direct to a 3D printer. <laughs> there we go. 
constructing a car part one. Oh look, it's been to Liverpool. Uh, shaping the body. In this section, you'll see how see how the mirror modifier can enhance your designs. You'll use this modifier and some basic modeling techniques to create the body of your car. No, I won't. Oh, I will in 3D, but I won't print it. Creating offsets. <clears throat> Knowing how to offset the shape can save a lot of time and will help you add detail to your work. However, in Blender there is an offset tool. Don't worry, there are a few methods that will achieve the same effect. There we go. And... Print top plate. Which is... That one. So we'll have all the electronic bits covered up at the end of this one. <laughs> Wonder if I'll stick the two sides together. That would be handy because they haven't been stuck together as yet. <laughs> Properly. Rubber band boat part one. All oh, right, it's one of them. Okay. And Ferroni style skull. Ferroni style skull. An object of beauty, creating, combining clever use of a classic mathematical diagram. That would be interesting to print. Hmm. I see a lot going wrong there. SD card holder. Oh, I suppose that's uh, handy. Uh, proportional editing. B Blender's proportional editing tool allows you to make subtle, smooth adjustments to an object's surface quickly and easily. What do we get next month? Oh, we get a three uh, paint power cable. We could have. No. They didn't have to do that bit. We could have managed without that bit, I think. Right, I'm going to change the camera and we'll have a look at what happened last month on the 3D printer and why I had to buy this. Right. Last month, uh, we fitted, four things obviously, fitted a driver board down here, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, we fitted this cable, which goes all the way up here towards the print head. We print it, fitted. The fan which was a little bit awkward. It's down there hiding away. Just show you. Down there. Got shadow. Oh no. And we fitted the power supply unit, which was bloody awkward because we got to get all the cables out of the way. Uh, and its own cable is a bit uh, of a pain in the ass to fit around here. So that was fun. I'll just show you the other side of that because we need to go around that way anyway. So there we are, there's the fan. Now, uh, if you look down here on this board, you'll notice this driver board looks like that, that one looks like that, that one looks like that, and this one, with the cables here, looks different. That's just because, if I go around the back, where are you hiding, my little one? There you are. When uh, it arrived, the heat sink had fallen off. So I've uh, got some putty and I'm going to replace this before I do the rest. But after I've done that, we shall be fitting. Have a look, first of all, I shall fix that and then I shall fix, where is it? The, GTD, the rear top plate. So I'll do them and I'll be back. Right, here we are a while later and I've done. All the bits, because uh, it wasn't worth doing separate videos for these. Uh, <coughs> they are all done. So we've got the front cover on, uh, the back cover on. We've got the bottom of the uh, well, the, the holder for the real holder thingy uh, post, and this part which the reel will sit on is now on there. You will also have to uh, put these. Tiny little rubber pads in uh, one on each corner, which I believe uh, is likely where the cover will sit. I actually lost one of these and it took me a while to find it, so careful if you're doing that. Uh, the problem we're having is, as you may know, when we put the starting build on base, the sides wouldn't fit together. And, well, this side still, I can push and pull and... No, it's not having it. Still not sticking together. It's not a big issue, but... But there we go. Uh, so, there we go. All the covers are on. The electrical bits are 
hidden. Um, what I'll do now, if you just stand by to stand by, I can put some power in, plug the plug into the mains, and we can apply power to this thing. <gasps> Didn't expect that, did you? Uh, it's going to do nothing dramatic, but we can see it running. Just a few seconds. Lights up. Okay, the fan's going. It's not going to do anything because obviously there's no head, so no head to detect. What I have found uh, is if you hold this button. It does that. No idea what that is. Uh, maybe it's a reset thing. Pass. Maybe I've just destroyed it. But there you go. It will power up. So, that is the build so far. So, if you like the video and you want to see more, then please subscribe if you want to see the past videos. Apart from the last delivery, which I couldn't make for obvious reasons. Uh, then there is... A playlist available through a link up there. Please like the video if you enjoyed it because that does help. And uh, other than that, she's getting there. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you. How much? You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>